for our listeners who are just joining us, we're speaking with Ben Swan, the investigative grassroots journalist, uh, the website benswan.com, where this Friday, July 26th, a free, now free, live streaming event, the Truth in Media Project. You should definitely go check it out, 7 p.m. Eastern. That's this Friday, July 26th, benswan.com. Again, yeah. Ben, it's, it's a pleasure to speak with you for a few minutes with your time. Um, uh, I, I guess, uh, well, to, to your last point, I, I absolutely agree. And, uh, you know, real journalism is not partisan. It shouldn't have to be beholden to one particular ideology or political party, but rather, uh, you know, a, a real objective journalism is about reality. It's about facts, and it's about inf informing and storytelling, right? Well, it, it is. It's about informing. It's about seeking truth. Um, and it really is about, again, holding those who are in power accountable. And here's the problem with, with this left-right paradigm, is that when you're in this paradigm, you automatically feel like, and journalists do this too, well, this side is better than the other side. And, and the reality of where we are today is that Republicans and Democrats as parties, are not one is not better than the other. Right. And, and we hear people say, and people who are partisan will say, oh, that's not true. This side is, is, is looking out for the people, and this side is not. Or this side is looking out for business, and this side is not. This side is looking out for my values. and the, No, they're not. Neither party is doing that. What both parties are doing is they have become completely beholden to lobbyists and to corporate money. Amen. And as a result, they sit back and allow lobbyists to write bills – which they themselves do not read, and then pass them, which have a profound effect on all of our rights, liberties, finances, um, you know, freedoms, all of it. Mm -hmm. And both sides are doing the exact same thing, then pointing their finger at the other side and saying, it's their fault if you're unhappy with what we're doing. Mm -hmm. But they're both doing it. Yep. And so you, you have to let go of the idea that either of these parties is, is truly interested in protecting you, because they're really not. Um, they, they have both sold you out. And so the only way you can restore accountability is to first restore journalism. If journalists will not hold them accountable, and if journalists remain partisan in their view, then there's no chance for the people in this country to really have uh, any clear understanding of what's happening in Washington. Amen, man. <laughs> I can't agree. I can't agree with you more. Um, and uh, we'll. Uh, I don't want to take up uh, too much of your time, Ben. We'll we'll kind of wrap this up in the next few minutes. Um, uh, and again, thanks again for coming on. And I hope folks can get over to your website at benswan.com. And and of course, watch the uh, the event, uh, the live streaming event this Friday. The Truth and Media Project is seven p.m. Eastern. There. Um, you know, uh, w one of the things I'm dealing with myself, my personal struggle right now is uh, finding another job. And I have a broadcasting background focused in, in radio here in Portland. And, you know, my thing is, well, I'd like to go back to work, have a living wage, these things. But I, don't, I really don't want to go work for Clear Channel, you know, or Intercom, uh, where I think, um, you know, the models there, uh, you know, the, uh, the profits over people and these kinds of things. Uh, to a certain extent, you know, it, it, it limits information, it limits reporting, it limits that real ability to hold a journalist to hold a, a power accountable. And um, and I, I guess my question, Ben, is, uh, uh, you know, your future, do you do you see yourself going back to uh, to working at, at, you know, big networks again if you or, or what do you think? I'm, yeah, I, I think I could. I absolutely think I could. I, I think um, my view on things. Uh, has changed dramatically. But I would say this, you know, I don't object to the networks. I'm not trying to destroy them, right. um, to unseat them, to, to take them power away from them. I'm trying to make them more accountable. And so if I can do that from inside of a network, um, that's that's fine with me. Um, if I have to do it from the outside, that's fine with me. Um, but my view of it is this, that there has to be a restoration of truth in media. And so regardless of where I am, I will continue uh, to provide content through the internet that I believe uh, will continue to challenge the current narrative. And I think if we can do that, I, I really do believe that if we can challenge the narratives that are out there, we can force mainstream media to respond to the way the alternative media is changing things. And I think that the, the, the general public out there who is abandoning, and they are abandoning it, make no mistake, 
who are abandoning the mainstream model have the opportunity to really force um, mainstream media, national media, to change their behavior. But, you, but again, the only way to do that, the only way to change media, the only way to change uh, politics is to apply accountability and to let go of the idea that, well, this time when I vote in this election, I'm going to have to compromise, but next time I won't, just this time. You know, yeah. if, if we can stop doing that, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Um, well, well, this this last go around, I, I I guess I participated in what I would call a protest vote myself. I I voted for the Green Party candidate for Jill Stein only because I got to interview Jill for about uh, twenty minutes uh, at an event here in Portland, and I, I grilled her on a couple of questions, and I liked what she had to say. I mean, you know, and and I would say uh, to to people who, who who oppose, you know, the Green Party, for example, any alternative independent party, whether it's you know the uh, the Libertarian Party, the Ron Pauls of the world. I mean, that's at least, in my opinion, you know, the, a step in the right direction. And well, uh, and the only thing I would challenge you on is is don't refer to it as a protest vote. Right. Uh, it wasn't a protest vote. It was a vote of your conscience. Right. And that's where we have to view it. Listen, it, elections should not be like picking a winning horse at a race. It's not about saying I I can pick the winner. It's about saying this is the person I most believe in. And if we could get more people to adopt that philosophy instead of seeing it as uh, I'm, I'm trying to prevent someone else from winning as opposed to voting for the person I, I believe in, I think we'd have a much better electoral system. The, the website is benswan.com, the Truth in Media Project live streaming event this Friday, July 26th at 7 p.m. Ben, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. I really enjoyed the conversation. Would love to uh, have you on again to, uh, to follow up and, and just to uh, stay in touch. Absolutely. I look forward to it. Thanks, Ben. Thanks again for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one. We'll hopefully hear from you soon. Sounds good. Um, there you go, folks. Uh, ben Swan, Ben Swan dot com. That's uh, S W A N N dot com. Um, really, really interesting, you know. And for me, you know, it's, it's not about partisan politics. Like I think that was kind of the whole premise of our conversation there. Um, I want to break down the whole left-right paradigm. At the very least, at the very least, I think that the perpetual cylindrical motion that that we just we seem to be stuck in some sort of unbreakable rut that we just have to find a way to break that cycle and if that means starting with breaking down partisan ideologies finding common ground and saying hey look you know we actually agree on more things than we disagree on or anyways you see what i'm saying you see what I'm saying? So um, we got to run to a real quick break uh, here at the top of the hour. I want to give uh, – uh, we'll do chat room shout-outs next when we come back. And, uh, you know, just want to say thanks again to Ben for coming on. And um, uh, check out the website, benswan.com, and the event this Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, which is now free. Hey, right on. That's pretty cool. Um, it's Filter Free Radio. Jacob Dean here with you broadcasting live on our website, filterfreeradio.com, radio or not.com, progressiveblendradio.com, and liberal justice radio via tunein.com and the TuneIn app. We will be right back. Don't go anywhere.